I suggest you explore this facility, Aegon. Until my initialization is done. Let's see what happens. Earth's eyes. Earth's eyes. 聚会空间。You could fit a good number of people in here, or maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm going to poke around a bit. 明明有个高这么高科技的房子，可是我不知道为什么外面的人不想要进来住哎。So this was supposed to be. 还是没办法进来。The lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Oh, 需要我击杀那些机器的零件呢？可是。我没办法使用。Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. 准备好就到控制室。Looks like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. 是他们办公的地方。哎，挡路啦！探索基地。This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. So this place was here all this time. Built for people who would never show up. This is all the fun. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about, Ted Farrow. He sabotaged things. It wasn't supposed to be this way. What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control centers. Reminds me of the bed house aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proving. 那我进这个厕所看看，洗澡的。哦，他不会不会念。这上厕所的地方。Hey Gaia, why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. 这也是办公室啊。Got it. 好多空间呢，白鸽的路。So I could head back east if I need to once we're done here. Correct. 啊，这里，这也是回去。啊，没有，这也是任务点嘛。哎，不对，到底哪里呀？好了好了，去找那个盖亚了。Okay, maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. 盖亚真的好亮啊，亮到我看不到他。Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. We're not going to be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. 
Of Apollo, Artemis, and Luthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Exactly as you did with Minerva. You must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. Oh, just this one. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Oh, yeah, those unknown people. Unknown people. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors. And a um, a, a clone of Elizabeth Silver. <clears throat> yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal. Okay. Sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. This signal was not from the Earth. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. I think the future of humans should have been able to cross the Earth's 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 Earth their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Farsenith? Yes, that is my conclusion.
So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. Perhaps a way can be found to defeat their shielding. Yeah, I hope so. Or I'm not gonna be winning fights against them anytime soon. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, the system functions in effect as a key to the cloning system. But how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives? Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek, a subordinate? I don't think so. The Sobek was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus... And then the whole terraforming system... Then yes. The system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere, to their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction, instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. You said Sirius is really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers, or 8.611 light years. Right. So, how would the descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 29 years of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster, a mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin.
How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus. From Silent's interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself. 17.22 years. Well, that doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop oh, broadcasting after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was Far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. 那接下来的问题就是，要跟那个其他星球的人类打。Yes, once we have them, we can focus on the reacquisition of Hephaestus. When that is achieved, I will have complete control of the Zero Dawn system and the ability to produce as many machines as needed to defeat the Far Zenith threat. An army of machines. Sounds like a plan. So the three procurable subfunctions. Wow, that this 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 story after this story's scope is very large. When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate function sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However. It appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. This Gaia also knows this. This current time period, the history of the world, can know the names of people. They have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. Samo. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas. Was located. Las Vegas. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Ayan. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay. So three subordinate functions to go after. Ether somewhere in Tanakh territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Wow, this has more levels. Let's start from the 17th level. I think I'll head for Ether. Then I will assign Ether as the objective on your focus. If you take it back, I should have chosen two. I will be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere, should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um, I don't know. It's just that Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system, defeat Far Zenith. Live up to her example. Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Kaya. 
Well, I, uh... I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Ball? Whoa! I'm gonna have to get used to that. One goes to the north, one goes to the south. Uh, yeah. Guy has opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zo meet me by the west door? Be right there. Okay, I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first, check on how Plain Song's doing after the attack, or I could also look around here some more. 还可以四处看看，感觉有很多东西耶。Are you sure? Yes. I think it'll be better this way. After you, Aloy. I need to head further west to um get more of Gaia's components, make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime, and Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This it's like training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies. Friends can help. We have a place to stay now, and like you said, Gaia can catch us up. It'll be okay. It's become a new base. New base. Okay. Take these then. One to wear, one for backup. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. I'm going to see the other side of the side of the side of the side of the side. The Tanoth clan lands. Somewhere out there is three of Gaia's sub-functions. And who knows what else. There's a skill set. Oh, how much is it? 
There's an ancient tunnel north of here that machines tend to avoid. I scouted it many times trying to find a way further in, but the way is blocked. Whatever the tin had in there, they kept it locked away. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, your Yu Wei Bao Zhang. Ancient tunnel, huh? If you want to take a look around from the area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here is sick with blight too, but we'll be able to heal all of it once Guy is strong enough to capture Hephaestus. I saw a dead animal. I need to gather materials to make the bag. Oh, shit. Can I send you a bag? 萤火每一个都碰一下好了。
take your time. Fire discipline, Hatato. Not out of this yet. Watch that! Ah, he's going to run around. Tanakh's patrol. How did you end up in trouble with those chargers? You need to answer our questions. We don't answer yours. Hatakto, she just fought on our side. That doesn't mean she's an ally. That's pretty much exactly what that means. <laughs> and we've enough to do chasing down these Regala zealots without picking fights with Nora warriors. Regala's desert Tanakh. We should be fighting alongside her instead of sitting this out. Regala has forgotten her duty. And let her anger at the Karja draw us into. We will speak about this later. You fought with courage and honor. You're free to go on to the Grove, Nora. The Grove? Our capital. If you want to spend time in this area, you'd be wise to check in with the commanders there. Regal has broken her duty. Then why aren't we bringing her to justice? This is other that the other what? Nati Kazu. 这个花纹不太不太一样。I can't see a way to climb this tarmac. This guy, how to climb? 可以直接硬爬上去吗？该不会是以后才能来吧？好多、喔，先不要硬碰硬好画面真的很漂亮、啊。Close to Ether's location. Guy said it would be in some kind of physical processor. Hey, this Ether, so that it could become a disconnect. An ancient ruin turned into a temple. Ether's 
Aether be inside? Poking around's not gonna be easy with Tanakh's warriors everywhere. Only grows in strength. She struck a blow to us at the embassy. This much is true. Regala's forces may seem strong now, but... Her machines took out my entire squad. Remember the visions. The old ones didn't choose their fight, but still, they stood firm. They didn't falter. And neither will we. Blood of the Ten. You've come to us. You know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Light. <laughs> yes. You are known to us. I am Dekka, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's... there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them. On the way to the Chief. All right, let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room, at the far end of the grove. Come, be welcome among the records of the Ten. Come, you have a blood from soldier and the Ten. It's glitched, incomplete. Their full truths are lost to us. It's a chaplain's duty to make sense of these visions as best we can. Led by weapons were battle. The ten were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle. They took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. For the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. This is not the ancient war promotion film. Let's open it. Come, you have a blood soldier and a young joint force ten at you. Led by the Lord, the British weapons were only to be seen. Hey, you During their war. The ten climbed sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength. Something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. Chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? I'm ready. Good. Come. We'll see you soon, Outlander. The Savior of Meridian. 
I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. He said you were a great warrior and a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. Just out of the peak, would you price? Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies, and I will have oh, access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal slain. I count hundreds more to knock them, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too, if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now, and taking what I need to save everyone? This <laughs> 女主角太冲了吧。You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Kuru. Oh, Kuru Terma. I've sent out a call for the competition. What can I do to be Naga? Since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what? You want me to be your bodyguard? I got that here. No. To defend the Kuru. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Takote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit. Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold the Kulrut with two or the three clans in attendance. Marshal Katala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. No problem. I'll do what you want and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised. If you succeed, speak to Decca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. 到头来是要帮忙做事，太过分了我没有想走，捡一下。Hikaru said you have something for me. A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. 
Strike true as the ten, Aloy. If I'm gonna get Ether, so I'll have to play along with Hikaru. I better meet up with Marshal Catalo at Stonecrest. It'll be faster if I ride a machine. Walk. Last thing I need is a machine stomping around in there. Too far, right? We have to walk up. Oh, Let's try to see this new weapon. Wow, he's too fast. He's too fast. He's too fast. He's too Let's put it out of the lemma. I'm not going to get rid of those bulls. Just die already! I'm taking you down! Oh,
冲得快，要求他会二点几耶！牙口兽。做祈祷了。那我这样坐骑死掉真不行啊！ Ground's getting steeper, air's getting cold. Should be getting close to Stonecrest. 好多野生动物，好、哦、是猫头鹰哎。谁自己人，谁敌人啊？
这一判这些人好强哦！我、哦、不用打了，叛军就死了。One more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. Must be Stonecrest. Katala should be waiting for me, but maybe I should look around first. Wait, that is what? Hey, how did it fall down? This shows bug. 应该可以升级了吧？还不够，好吧。呃，这一把先不要买好了。我先去存个点，存个档先，先告一段落、啊。这路程都太长了，我光走到这我就花了好长的时间哦。可是这边景色也蛮漂亮的，看一下看一下，到时候就要找他讲话了。那我就先玩到这边喽，那我们下一次再见喽，拜拜。